Let's welcome the very lovely Megan Fox. Good to have you here, Megan. Thank you very much. Thank you. Tell me uh, where you grew up. Where did you grow up? Um, I was born in Tennessee. Tennessee. Oh. I lived there until I was. Hey, there's one person from Tennessee. Um, and then I moved to Florida when I was 10. Mm -hmm. I lived there until I was 16, and then I dropped out of high school and I moved to California. Wow, I dropped out of high school. Now, right there, that's that's fairly provocative statement. What what kind of what kind of kid were you in high school that caused you to want to drop out? I mean, I've always been sort of loudmouthed and obnoxious. Really? A little bit. I'm sort of known for for my mouth, and I was always that way. And I was never really interested in. Um, You've had a guest that has said this before, but I, I'm not really good with authority figures. Mm -hmm. And so I, I wasn't really good with school. Oh. And my mom, she made me get an actual diploma, though. So I, I dropped out and enrolled in correspondence school. And I have a diploma, and I actually well, graduated top of my class well, in good correspondence for you. school. That's Thank great. You. Now, Can you... I tell you something? Yes, go right ahead. I've had three crushes my whole life John Stewart, Conan O'Brien, and you. Oh. And I just want to tell you. Thank yeah. you. Thank you. Yeah. What uh, What do those other two do? <laughs> uh, now, now, Megan, and, and now, were you uh, were you in trouble uh, when you were in high school? Were you uh, a troubled kid? Were you in trouble? Um, I mean, from maybe 10 years until 16, I was sort of like perpetually grounded because I would. I started the first time I ever got in trouble. I was a good student, like straight A's. Um, in fifth grade, I got caught passing notes talking about this boy named Troy Pruitt, hmm. who was my first French kiss. Wow. And he had hair like Zac Efron, I remember exactly. And um, I, I got caught, my mom got called into the principal's office, and I got in trouble, I got grounded, and then I, I escaped the house, I, I hmm. snuck out. And then I got grounded again, like for longer. And this just happened over and over again until I woke up and I was 17 years old, and I hadn't left the house in <laughs> seven years. <laughs> and 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 was was it because even at an early age that you knew what you wanted to do and felt like uh, high school was just getting in the way, or it was just being difficult? I was just being difficult. Just for the fun of it. Yeah. yeah. Just for the exercise of I it. I think yeah. so. Uh, but then you impressed upon your mother that what you wanted to do was be a, be an actor. Right. And, and then so you guys, everybody packs up and moves to California, is that how She it moved me out here, yeah, and the deal was when I got, when I could pay for my rent, mm -hmm. I could live alone. And I got, my first job was actually with Lindsay Lohan in a movie called Confessions of a Teenage Drama Queen. Mm -hmm. One of the cinematic greats. <laughs> and, um, <laughs> and, uh... I, it paid my rent for like a year, so she moved back to Florida, and I began my journey on my own. Yeah, so it, it's funny because uh, uh, mom probably uh, in your high school years or the first part of your high school years just kind of held her breath for you, right? And now she can exhale and things are just fine. Yeah, I think she accepted. Yeah. She had dealt with me for so long, she had accepted whatever was going to happen was going to happen. This is Marilyn Monroe there? That is Marilyn oh, Monroe. Oh, that's beautiful. That, as we're talking to Johnny Depp about people that uh, he... Uh, liked as uh, watching other actors. Is this somebody that you were fond of? I guess so. Yeah, well, I better be. Yeah. No, the, no, it's an accident, Dave. Um. It, was, it was supposed to be Thomas Jefferson. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, uh, I'm, I'm a fan. I mean, she's not someone that I would ever want to emulate, yeah. I would say, but I, you know, I think she's iconic and a piece of artwork. Her image is art at this point. Yeah, so. absolutely. Well, good for you. We'll be right back here with Megan Fox, everybody.